Good morning, good morning. What's up, Para family? Get up, get up, get up. Most of you should be up by now. This is your girl, Pastor Ju. What's cracking? <laughs> uh, as you can tell, I'm in LAX. Um, what's happening, y'all? Good morning, good morning. Come on in. Good morning, good morning. Uh, happy Thursday morning to you. Happy Thursday morning. Good morning, good morning. Come on in. When you come in, get some hard scoring for your girl. This is your girl, Pastor Ju, pastor of Word of Encouragement Church here in Los Angeles. Good morning. Thank you for the heart love. I appreciate it. Um, Want to just, uh, just connect with you all before you go to work because somebody should be on their way to work. <laughs> well, so, hey, Angela, good morning, good morning. I uh, just wanted to send another word of encouragement. I was up early this morning chatting with a, a, a young lady about her dreams, chatting with a young lady about her dreams, and she shared something with me that I thought was really interesting that I just wanted to share with you all. Not so much what she, well, what she said, but just what the Lord had, had me share with her. Good morning. Thank you for the heart love. When you come in, share with somebody. Uh, share with your followers on Facebook and Twitter. Share with your followers on Facebook and Twitter. Um, I think this is going to bless somebody this morning, this scope. Um, welcome to Scope Sanctuary. Uh, and this is your girl, Pastor Ju, and welcome to our Scope Sanctuary. So, um, as I was mentioning, uh, I was um, chatting early this morning, late last night, early this morning, with a young lady about her dreams. And uh, may, for those of you that saw my scope last night, I mentioned that um, she was talking about taking the easy road, taking the easy road to, to, um, as opposed to pursuing her dreams. And then we had further discussion. One of the things that came out was she mentioned that because she has seen others fail at what it is she dreams about doing, because she has seen others fail at what she had dreamed about doing, she was thinking that maybe she shouldn't pursue her dream because of somebody else's disaster. She was reconsidering pursuing her dream because of someone else's disaster. And I just want to say to somebody today, do not allow somebody else's disaster to derail you from your dream. Their disaster is not your disaster. Their failure is not your failure. Their lack of planning, lack of business acumen, their lack of know-how, lack of skill, lack of focus, lack of goal setting, lack of goal achievement, their disaster should not derail you from pursuing your dream. And so just be encouraged today as, and, you know, and, and all of us as we are trying to pursue our dreams, trying to pursue those things that God has put in us. Yes, we are to look out at the landscape and see who's doing what. And some of what we see other people doing, we will copy, we will mimic, we will imitate because there's nothing new other than the sun, under the sun. But just because you see somebody else fail at what you're dreaming to do doesn't mean you shouldn't do it. And so she was considering, was this a sign from God that I shouldn't do my dream or I shouldn't pursue my dream because somebody else or other people have failed? Absolutely not. Um, that would be like suggesting just because we've seen somebody get divorced that nobody else should get married. And that's just not the case, right? Hey, Yolanda, what's going on? Uh, get some hearts going and share the scope with somebody as you come on in. And so we're talking about not allowing ourselves to be derailed or distracted from our dreams and our purpose in life just because others are failing at it. I can't tell you the number of people that I know who have attempted to launch churches and it didn't work out for them, but that doesn't mean it wasn't going to work out for Najuma. And so I had to pursue the passion, the dream, the goal, the assignment that God gave Najuma in spite of the people who before me, maybe it didn't work for. Now there were a number of people that it is working for, but there are a number of people that it didn't work out for. And so oftentimes the way the enemy plays truth on our mind is he'll he'll let us see something not working out failing um, you know not 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 succeeding and we'll will we will um, put that good morning thank you we will take on somebody else's failure take on somebody else's disaster as to suggest their disaster will be our disaster it's that's not the case if anything when you observe the landscape and you see who's successful and you see who's not successful, what we're supposed to do is learn from both. Learn from the successful people, what did they do to be successful, and learn from those who didn't succeed, who did have disaster, and make sure we don't copy that, right? And so as we observe 
who's doing well in what it is we want to do and who's not doing well we're supposed to learn from both but not be derailed not be distracted not be taken off course and so to anyone out there whatever it is you're thinking about doing as you're checking out the landscape and seeing who's doing what and how are they doing it um, and what did they do wrong learn from it but don't let it derail you don't let it let distract you and don't let it stop you their disaster is not your disaster their failure is not your failure and that's how the enemy plays tricks on our minds is to convince us that somebody else's disaster will be our disaster and that's just not the case it's just not the case if anything we learn from people who did not do well we learn from people who do do well and the point is to learn from both both scenarios can teach us something if we learn from them. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, Karen. Yolanda, thank you. As you all come on in, make sure to share the scope and get some hearts going. Appreciate the heart love. So I just wanted to encourage someone this morning as you are looking at pattern, as you are looking at models, as you are looking at models in what it is you're doing, what it is you want to do, as you are looking at models, absolutely do your homework. Thank you for that. Is that Tracy Pruitt? I see Pruitt. I'm not sure if that's Tracy Pruitt, my girl, or if it's another Pruitt. But anyway, as we're looking at models of success and models of failure, and failure is not a bad thing. It just means you got to try something else. But as we're looking at models, the models are simply for us to learn from, to figure out what did Susan Pruitt. Hey, Susan. Good morning to you. Um, um, as we are looking at models, those models are for us to learn from them. So we learn from those who are successful, but we had Crystal Oshun, but we also learn from those who maybe were not successful. But neither model, neither model, neither example should derail us or distract us from pursuing our dream. Whatever God has put in your heart to do, in your mind to do, go for it, do it. Regardless, if 10 other people had a disaster opening a restaurant, but if God told you to open a restaurant, open that restaurant, they may have had a disaster because they weren't obedient to God's plan for their life. They may have had a disaster because they didn't follow through. They may have had disaster because they weren't excellent in their work. Who knows, right? So whatever it is God's placed in your heart to do, check out the landscape, Look at models of success and also look at models of failure, but let neither model derail you from doing what God's called you to do. Their disaster should not distract you from your dream. Their disaster should not derail you from your dream. Their disaster, somebody else's disaster in the thing that you want to do, research, absolutely. Calculate risk and be faithful, absolutely. And so someone else's disaster is an opportunity to learn from but not to be derailed by, all right? And so again, um, and that's how the enemy, you know, just kind of gets in our head like, oh, they failed, they didn't, you know, it didn't work out for them, you know, they, they had a lot of problems. Okay, that's on them. That ain't, that, that, that ain't your testimony. It doesn't have to be your testimony. And so don't take on somebody else's disaster. Don't do it. Um, yeah, and be obedient to God's call on your life. That's what it comes down to. Be obedient to God's call on your life. So um, to all my replay viewers out there, love you just the same. God bless you. Thank you all for joining us on this early morning meditation. Um, pray for your girl as I travel to go be with a good friend of mine who will be installed as a new pastor, and I have the opportunity to be on his program, so I'm thankful for that. But remember, if for anyone out there pursuing their dream, pursuing your passion, pursuing your call on your life, do not let somebody else's disaster derail you from pursuing your dream. Their testimony is not your testimony. Their challenges are not necessarily your challenges. And what God has for them it's the same that what God has for you. And maybe, just maybe, they were pursuing the wrong dream. Maybe they were pursuing something, you know, maybe they were trying to start a business and God called them to the pulpit. You know, sometimes things f fall apart because people are pursuing the wrong stuff. And so, you know, we don't know why some people succeed. Well, no, we do know why some people succeed and some people don't succeed. There, there are reasons for that. But, and the point is for you and I to research both models. And so whatever it is, so this is your homework. Here's your homework. Whatever it is God's called you to do, look at models of success and also look at models of disaster. <laughs> 
For anyone out there pursuing a dream, pursuing a call, pursuing a business, whatever it is, look at both models. Thank you. Bless you too, uh, Miss Susan. Look at both models, models of success and models of disaster. Learn from both and then do what God's called you to do, no matter what. Go for it. Just do it. So be encouraged today. Love y'all. Um, and again, uh, send some prayers up for me for traveling, grace and mercy. And uh, oh, and I got to say this every time I scope this weekend, I got to remind everyone as we're talking about pursuing dreams and calling, no matter what, absolutely, Yolanda. Um, also want to remind everyone, November 1st, we're having a job fair at our church. We've partnered with Metro LA Rail. Hello, Dr. Hightower. God bless you, sir. Um, we are we have partnered with Metro LA Rail. They're going to be at Word of Encouragement Church November 1st, 6.30 p.m. The doors will open, and they're going to be talking about job opportunities with Metro LA Rail, employment opportunities, training opportunities for those who are gainfully, who are who are who are employable, but also they're going to give information on how our youth 16 and up can access their training and career opportunities as well as our ex-offenders. So for anyone, if you got folks in your family members that have a little history, y'all know we like to use the word history, tell them to come join us on November 1st at 6.30 p.m. at Word of Encouragement Church because we've partnered with Metro LA Rail and they're going to be talking to us about how to access jobs and careers, youth training and employment opportunities as well as training and employment opportunities for our ex-offenders so if you got history in your background it's all good and again don't forget our morning meditation don't let someone else's disaster derail you from pursuing your dreams because their testimony ain't your testimony their issues are not necessarily your issues and then as you are pursuing your dream your goal your assignment whatever it is remember to research both models of success and models of disaster Learn from both and then go for it. All right. Love y'all. Peace. Oh, Word of Encouragement Church is at 1153 Valencia Street. 1153 Valencia Street, Los Angeles, California, 90015, November 1st, 6.30 p.m. Love y'all. Thank you for the traveling grace and mercy. And I'll talk to y'all tomorrow. Deuces. Bye.